open the regular meeting of the Board of Education of the Chickasha Public School District 26, I-001. The meeting was properly posted in compliance with the Oklahoma Open Meetings Act, 25 OS sections 301 to 314, and the time is 6 p.m. Item number two is roll call. Here. 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 Item number three, Pledge Allegiance, and I think we're Chickasha Middle School. Ladies, did you bring your parents with you? Ladies, did you bring your parents with you? Oh, where are they at? Thanks for coming tonight. Welcome. Thanks for coming. They want a picture. I think we should put their parents in it. They're all here. Family, come up. What an awesome! What an awesome family. Thank you very much. Item number four is recognition. First up tonight, we have our Chicken Express Employees of the Month, and Chicken Express could not make it here tonight, but we absolutely want to recognize our uh, two uh, staff members from Chickasha High School, and Rochelle will get everything to you from Chicken Express. Uh, just, it's not here today. Anyway. So, Miss Davis, I'm going to turn it over to you. Hey! Can't just sit there. And... <laughs> oh, on purpose? <laughs> okay, just asking. Uh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations, Brandon. Absolutely. Hey, Terry. All right, congratulations.
Congratulations, ladies, on an honor well deserved. Rob, Robin, pick up one of them. <laughs> like, taking your phone. What are you going to do? Daddy, you feel like you feel like you want a little picture of the phone. I know, I bet there's a lot.
Thank you, thank you. And I know it was a challenge to be here. You, you guys need to understand these people are never home, never, ever home. We've got, we've all been at Cattle Congress in Oklahoma City for the last week. They're headed to Denver and they get to stay through the hog show and the steer show. So they are never, ever home. And this, this award is well-deserved. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yes, thank you. It is a big award. Okay. On to item number five, which is public comment. And we do have one request. Uh, Dr. Ashante Alexander on House Bill 1775. Welcome.
Thank you. Item number six is the superintendent's report. Thank you, Dr. Ray, for your comment. Um, I'd like to say congratulations again to Miranda Mulder, Terry Snyder, and Dominic Neff on their uh, recognitions tonight. We're also very proud of the Schmitz. Um, Robin, folks, you don't realize this time can so many other people do in the district as well, but I've never seen a group that are on the road going as much this weekend. I've seen any hogs in Minicom. They've been at cattle conferences. Now they're heading to Denver. And so they do a lot, and we're very proud of them. And thank you very much for all they do for our SSA program. I, I want to recognize, and he is not here tonight. He has no idea I'm going to say anything. But I want to just say congratulations to Tom Brack. And if you don't know much about Mr. Brack, uh, prior to him going into administration, I got, he was a wrestling coach for 35 years. In his 35 years as a wrestling coach, he had 11 times his teams were state winners, two times state champions, um, 27 individual state champions wrestled, five All Americans. Mr. Wow. Brack was just inducted into the Oklahoma chapter of the National Wrestling Council. Very proud of him. Um, so, and whenever there's a day that I need to be out, we just have him come sit at my desk and he'll let me come. <laughs> we will be closed next Monday in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on January the 16th. We'll be open on the 17th. And I just want to say a big thank you to our school board. Um, we hope you like all the posters and banners and everything that you have up here and the baskets that were put together by the school site. We just appreciate all of you for everything that you do. January is National School Board Appreciation Month, and uh, I think we have the best. So that, that's all Thank you. And thank all of you for all of the baskets and the cards and the banners. It is it is really cool. And and I think there was a I there was probably be more, but I saw the grand Facebook post. <coughs> so that was very nice. It is it is great to be appreciated, but um at the same time, uh, it's a job that we all 
and dear that we're here and we want to be here and we're, we're grateful that we get the opportunity to serve. So thanks for, for all you do for us. Um, anybody else want to make a comment about Absolutely. Can you all make our job easier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some days that's harder than others. <laughs> Item number uh, seven, I think we're going to pool. Is that correct? We're going to table item number seven tonight. And um, I was uh, had a phone call today from Megan Grennan, the CUDA president, and brought to my attention that we had overlooked a, an important piece in our calendar of, uh, approval process, and that is polling our staff. And I want to openly apologize for not making sure that that was done. Um, getting info, feedback and information from our staff is very important. And so we are going to table this. We're going to give them a chance starting tomorrow to pull the staff on the 23-24 calendar. And uh, our hope and intent is to bring that back to you in February. So, but for tonight, item number seven. Item number eight. Discussion and possible action regarding amended job description for IEP specialists. Okay, I think Robin actually worked on creating the original job descriptions for these. There was an elementary one and a secondary one. We have had Donna York's position posted since the start of the school year and have not been able to fill it. We are needing to get some assistance with Tammy. Tammy hasn't asked for help. She hasn't come to us and said, hey, I need some help but we see the burden she is carrying. And so we would like to have an IEP specialist that will help, can assist with some testing, has a special ed background, special ed certification, but would also then help with reading the IEPs and the paperwork and everything as it comes in, just because again, this is something she hasn't complained, would never say a word, Tammy takes home every month. And so we need to assist in this Absolutely. area. And so all I did was take the original two job descriptions that were created when Robin was over special services and tweak them to fit what our needs are now. This will not be, while it is a new updated job description, it will not be a new position. We will take the should this be approved this evening in full attention. Make a motion to approve the amended job description for IEP specialists. Second, Cliff. Motion McGill, second, Cliff. Any further discussion? Roll call. Yes. Yes. Item number nine is the consent agenda. Anybody have anything on the agenda they want to pull? Okay. Then we'll start with Ms. Stegman's science report. Not a chargeable. Whenever that happens and we continue doing well, I, I 
to my knowledge, we've not been off the for, off the state aid before. But when let's say two years from now we don't get the over collection, do we just automatically roll back on? How does that work? Okay. A little bit of a gap. I, that's I wondered. We'd probably have a year gap. I mean, it's gross yeah. production has well, been I don't, crazy. I, have we ever been off the state aid formula? I don't think we have. I, I don't think we were ever off the state aid formula. So this is good news. Typical. Average. Yeah. Well, we there's productions by county. It depends on the county. Yeah, it's going to depend on your production too. I mean, we're not. Yeah, yeah except yeah. except as a percentage wise, it was even crazier for them because they weren't on for a long time with the gas plants being built and everything. But we've exactly got rig count in Oklahoma's up. Um, we've got a lot of activity in the area, so all, all districts that don't have the same energy resources in the ground aren't. I'm sure they're all up some with activity being up, but not not to the same scale. I mean, we're six months into the our fiscal year, and we're already gross production is already over what we closed 12 months, the full year period every other year, but last year in the past seven or eight. So it's I mean, it's Did crazy. You know the up. Grady or the I haven't looked at the finances for some of the other Grady County schools, but. Either. Yeah. Anybody on the edge of their seat? Well, that recent, I guess, for that recent ruling, well, because that was the plant, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. So that was the, they had the facility that they, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, okay, for now. More money, better for now. How much? I saw it, but I don't remember. Good. Absolutely. Anybody have any finance report questions on expenditures, revenues? I have one question about the special ed account. It's just a special ed account for life skills class. Is that one building? Is that multiple buildings? Don't we have more than one life skills class? Okay. That's what I thought. Gotcha. Like, Rick, do you think that if a lot of schools are going to be going off to state aid, do you think that the legislators will address that? Will we maybe still be back on it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Fred, Rick. I don't think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. While we're doing well, there are other counties. The whole formula is supposed to be six years old. Right. That's what I was wondering. If the I, don't, I don't anticipate anything like that. It's going to be interesting to see if there's a push for some of the bills that have been talked to increase the short pay to increase the pay. There's a bill out there that would have been extra at the end of those there. We'll just have to see how. The state, like we get monthly reports from the state treasurer's office. And the state has to do it. 
<clears throat> Things are looking good. Well, these are much better discussions than we've had. Before. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much that thing from day one. Okay. It is. So we wow. save, we, we, we pocket some of this now for whenever yeah. it catches up with us later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I move that we approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion from Cliff, second from McGill. Any further discussion? Roll call. Yes. 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 Okay. Item number 10 would be discussion and possible action regarding proposed executive session to discuss employment, hiring, or resignations of individual salaried public officers or employees listed on Exhibit A, Ex Executive Session Authority, Oklahoma State, Title 25-307-B1. I make the motion to go to Executive Session. Second. Motion, Cliff, second, McGill. Any further discussion? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Motion, Gerda. She got Second it. We sure got it. Thank you. Any further discussion? Okay, roll call. Yes. 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 And that puts us in executive session. 